Hey there, so I just finished watching the uh, Drunken Film School, uh, Logan and uh, Blu-ray Mountain, it's Nathan, and uh, it talks about 1970 science fiction, and uh, I'm going to give uh, my list on uh, some 70s sci-fi that you should watch, though I do think one thing, it's true, us 70s is a very romanticized time, and are the movies that much deeper or better than the films that came out a decade later in the 80s? Well, let's look. I'm going to list off some of the uh, science fiction films from the 80s that uh, I'm just going to stick, I'll stick with some fairly early 80s just to get, because the list is long, and it's longer than the list you got for the 70s one. So we're looking at movies like uh, Death Watch, Empire Strikes Back, and yes, Star Wars is science fiction fantasy, but it's still science fiction. The Final Countdown, of course, it, with uh, Kirk Douglas, Galaxy of Terror. Uh, a film that actually produced by Roger Corman that is really trippy, cool, fun, and uh, deeper than it should be. Escape from New York, John Carpenter's classic. Uh, one of my favorite and most underlooked science fiction films of all, and it's by Michael Crichton. He actually uh, wrote and directed this, and it's called Looker with uh, Albert Finney. If you haven't seen it, you really, really should. Uh, Outland with Sean Connery. Of course, it's very much like uh, High Noon. Style in space because a lot of science fiction films and uh, westerns, you'll notice a uh, a correlation between the two. Um, the 1982 film of Klaus Kinski, uh, Android, by uh, oh, who did that one? Uh, Aaron Lipstadt or something like that. Blade Runner, one of the all-time great science fiction neo noir films of all time. Uh, and we're just in '82. Uh, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Uh, Star Trek 2, The Wrath of Khan, because Star Trek 1, it's bad. It's really, really bad. Uh, you can actually skip Star Trek 1 and go straight to 2 and you're perfectly fine. Trust me on this one, you will be perfectly fine. The Thing, again, Carpenter Classic, uh, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Videodrome, an amazingly visual science fiction film by Cronenberg, one of my favorites of all time. Cool, freaky, uh, adventures of Buckaroo Banzai across 8th Dimension. Holly Underrated, Holly Strange, Holly What the Hell film. Dreamscape, 1984 uh, uh, science fiction horror film with, uh, of course, Dennis Quaid. The Last Starfighter, uh, here's more of a fun one. Uh, Lance Guest, just really cool. Nick Castle directed it, and if you are a Halloween fan, then you know that Nick Castle was the guy that played Michael Myers. <clears throat> 1984. Uh, actually, this is probably one of my favorite versions of this film. John Hurt, got Richard Burton, uh, incredible cast. Uh, great stuff. The Philadelphia Experiment. Again, another classic. Repo Man. Uh, highly underrated film by, uh, by Cox. Starman. And again, Carpenter comes to bat for uh, 80 science fiction. The Terminator. Yeah, Terminator. Brazil. Uh, doesn't get much more f comedic, yet trippy, yet understated and interesting than Brazil does. And uh, movies like Brazil and uh, rival anything that came out in the 70s. Uh, again, Cronenberg's The Fly. And I would put Shivers there as well, by the way, but that's in the 70s. We'll get to that in the 70s. Uh, the Fly is an amazing film. Robocop. Robocop is a highly underrated science fiction film and a highly dark, dark, deep science fiction film. Let's see if I can get any more kind of like just really fast. Akira, one of the great sci-fi animes. Uh, really enjoyed Chuck Russell's remake of The Blob. Alien Nation was a great film with James Conn and Manny Patinkin when, uh, uh, back in the, in the day. And it's still a great film now. Uh, the social commentary still rings true. If I wanted to say just cheesy stuff, uh, Cyborg. Uh, it's just a uh, John claude Van Damme movie, but you know, it's kind of fun. Uh, we've got the Back to the Future trilogy, and as much as people like to rag on that, there's some really smart and intelligent stuff that comes through the Back to the Future trilogy. Mostly the first one, but still. Movies like Communion, which are creepier than they should be, uh, with Christopher Walken. 
we've got a Swamp Thing. We've got Tetsu the Iron Man, which is another uh, cool classic. So that's 80 science fiction. I just took up five minutes of my video on that. And uh, I'm going to be back in a second and we're going to talk about 70 science fiction. But you're running with the 80s. So here we go. I'm back with a primer of uh, great 70 science fiction films that uh, everybody should watch. And I think that stand, well, most of them I find stand the test of time. And we'll start off with Philip Kaufman's Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Done in 78. It was an incredible film. Uh, Alien, of course. It's a science fiction horror film. It's <clears throat> very much a slasher film in space. But, uh, again, an incredible film. Star Wars. It's science fiction and it is fantasy. It's both. And it makes the list. Uh, Star Wars will be... And Empire Strikes Back will be two amazing things that will go together. And the third one would... Be okay. Just okay. Uh, Mad Max. Incredible, very uh, dystopian, uh, very nihilistic type film. Love it. Uh, time After Time, 1979. Malcolm McDowell, David Warner. It's a Jack the Ripper film. Futuristic uh, in a way. It's, well, it's it's the time machine. And it's a really brilliant, brilliant piece of cinema that everybody should see. If you haven't seen Time After Time, 1979 film, go check it out. It's, uh, it's great stuff. Uh, Stepford Wives, uh, done in 75, very chilling. It's based on the R. Levine uh, novel. This, this was, would have many sequels. Uh, I would have fun with the sequels, but this would be the one that would uh, that would creep me out. And the way things are nowadays, uh, it actually has uh, points to make right now. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Uh, very, uh, I liked it. It's a... Uh, it's a great 70s film, not one of my favorites, but uh, it is an uh, interesting one to sit down and watch. It's extremely well done. Uh, science fi uh, fiction horror, Shivers. Cronenberg uh, was doing his stuff way back in 1975 with this movie that uh, will get under your skin. Clockwork Orange. Uh, just genius work by, uh, by Kubrick doing the uh, Anthony Burgess tale and thankfully he uh, didn't do the last of it because yeah just read the book you'll understand what I mean there is a difference Andromeda Strain love it uh, Crichton again doing brilliant stuff in the uh, 70s it would, we would see more cool Crichton stuff in well in the 80s and also in uh, Jurassic Park Colossus the Forbin Project uh, just uh, Kind of a fun little thriller. I, I really liked it. And uh, definitely worth checking out. But a computer that comes to life and tries to take over the world. A boy and his dog. Brilliant film. Uh, just see it. It's uh, came out by Shit Factory recently. A really good edition came out. And it's uh, something that should be seen. Here's one that I like that I really don't think gets enough credit. And it's The Ultimate Warrior. And no, we're not talking about the rest. So we're talking about the uh, 1975 film with Ewell Brennan. Uh... Uh, directed by Robert Klaus, it's an amazing film that uh, is highly, highly underrated. We got Von Sydow in this, William Smith. There's a great fight with William Smith, with William Smith and uh, Brenner. Uh, Steve McCady's the early role in this one here. Uh, definitely check it out. Logan's Run, another great film. Uh, TV series wasn't as great, but the uh, film is pretty cool. The Man Who Fell to Earth, yep. It's one that has to be watched. It is an amazing film. Uh, in 76, Bowie just is perfect for this role. We get to see Candy Clark and Rip Torn in her too, and what else can you ask for? Silent Running, a film that I love. Al Solaris is another great one, as, and that would work for your Criterion ones as well, because uh, I think that uh, Solaris is also a uh, Criterion film, because I'm pretty sure that Andre, Andrea Tarkovsky, uh, yeah, that was incre pretty, pretty sure that's the Criterion one. I got picked on up down the road. Anyway, there we go. That's the 70s films and the 80s films. Never underestimate 80s films or 80s science fiction. Don't think that just because part of 80s culture was superficial that, that it all was. It really, really wasn't. Uh, we kind of get painted with that brush a lot, but uh, look back and see how much really cool stuff is done. Again, if you have not subscribed to Drunken Film School, guys, get out there and subscribe to Drunken Film School. Subscribe to Logan Toxic, subscribe to Blu-ray Anonymous, and subscribe to Nathan Richardson. And, uh, if you're not subscribed to me, why not? 1970 science fiction is great. 1980 science fiction is better. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, right now, 
Sniff tea. 